heat rises, right? Yeah, especially when you have two burners going at the same time. Down two games to one, LeBron James and Dwayne Wade snatched the momentum away from the Pacers with a combined 70-point performance in game four. And that got them back home with the series tied at two games apiece with the Pacers. Miami looking to go up 3-2 before having to hit the road for Indiana. Second quarter, the physical play that marked this game began. Dwayne Wade drives, fouled hard by Tyler Hansbro. We take another look at it. Hansbro knocks Wade upside the head. And Wade comes up bloodied, but unbowed. Hansbro called for a flagrant one foul. Less than a minute later, Hansbro going to the rack, and well, Udonis Haslam is waiting for him. Uh, Haslam didn't really look like he was going for the ball there. It looks like he was trying to send a message about the play at the other end. Haslam also called for a flagrant one foul. That's not all he did, though. He scored 10 points in the game, shot five for six from the floor. Could be critical if he gets suspended for this game with that kind of perimeter shooting. Now, Danny Granger goes up for the jumper. He comes down on LeBron James' foot. Ankle turns awkwardly, headed to the locker room, but he would later return. He scored 10 points. Paul George led the Pacers with just 11. LeBron James with a steal. He shot 12 of 19, doing a lot of that. Miami up seven. Final seconds of the half. George Hill misses the three. Heat going the other way, and very quickly. James to Wade to James. Beats the buzzer. Heat up nine at the break. And this is when they really started to turn it on. Third quarter, check out Granger. Trying to guard James. Fouls James and looks like his feet got tangled up and then re-injured the ankle. Taken off on a card he would not return. Left in a walking boot but says he does expect to play in game six. Later, heat up 14. Roy Hibbert blocked by Ronnie Turioff. James to Wade. Can I see that again, please? James falling out of bounds. Off balance with one hand and just pure strength to get it to Wade. Wade had 28 points. He shot 10 of 17. The Heat with a 22 to 2 edge and fast break points. Is that bad? It's not good. Uh, for for Indiana, Indiana, it's not. Yeah. Wade leading James perfectly with the pass for the dunk and the Heat up 18. And they're just throwing it to each other, playing pitch and catch. Final seconds, Pacers down 37. Lance Stevenson in the game. You remember Lance. Flashback to game three after James misses critical free throws. Stevenson making a choking gesture toward the heat. And, and he's a rookie. So now, back to Tuesday, check out Stevenson coming down the lane. And Dexter Pittman is obviously looking for him, we think. And, and he hits Stevenson hard right in the neck. Stevenson later said, Pittman got me good. My shoulder feels like it's broke, but, but I'm okay. Pacers... Not okay in this game. James nearly messed around and got a triple-double. 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 8 assists, and the Heat win it 115-83. to 83. So after combining for 70 in Game 4, Wade and James combined for 58 in this one. It was an 11-point game when Granger left Miami, plus 21 the rest of the way. David West also nicked up in this game. He's got a knee sprain. Pacers say he's also day-to-day. -day. Heat shoots 61%, playoff record for them, and best of any team in the playoffs this season. Again, game six Thursday in Indiana, and more physical players in the forecast. One thing you want to do is you want to have, you know, great competitive games. You know, obviously you want to make sure that you're not giving up layups, but, um, you know, you don't want to hurt nobody. That's not what we are here for, you know, at the end of the day. Um, us as players, we don't ever want to see no one hurt. So you got a court full of alpha males, and you know people banging out there. You know, at the end of the day, you know nobody's trying to take nobody out or hurt nobody. We just playing basketball, playing hard. There's no room for I mean dirty plays in our game period. No matter if it comes from us or Indiana or anyone in the league at this point. I mean, you know, we're all one group. Um, as players, and, uh, and at the end of the day, you don't want to see anyone again. James was dirty in a different kind of way, nasty. 30 points on Tuesday. It's the fifth time he's reached 30 this postseason and the 45th time in his playoff career. Only active player who's done it more is, you guessed it, Kobe Bryant. As for the Pacers, must win in game six. Danny Granger day-to-day -day with that injured ankle. Here's his coach. Certainly not having Danny out there when, when you have a guy, you know, a matchup like LeBron James. Uh, it, it definitely challenges your depth. And, uh, but we got to try to overcome that. we got a good basketball team, a deep basketball team. And uh, we got to bounce back and get game six. I think Danny will be all right. I know he's um, rolled his ankle a couple times. It's a part of the game. You know, we should be all right. Pacers really struggle without Granger. They're, they're not all right. His 17 points per game leads Indiana this postseason. Also enables him to stretch the floor with his ability to hit three-pointers. Tim Legler ready to go.
Well, I think it's going to be very difficult for the Pacers to win at home and extend this to a seventh game in Miami. This team just did not come to compete in game five the way you have to in a series where you have an opportunity to get a road win and possibly close the series out at home. I just didn't think they came with the right competitive nature. The chippiness aside, they didn't play smart enough. They didn't play hard enough. They didn't convert opportunities that you have to against the Miami Heat where your margin for error is so small. Right now, LeBron James and Dwayne Wade are in such an offensive rhythm. It's going to be very difficult to get them under control in game six. I think the Heat will go and close it out. A chippy series got downright nasty after referees called three flagrant fouls in game five. And while no one was ejected, the flagrants will be reviewed by the NBA. The Heat are concerned Udonis Haslam or Dexter Pittman could be suspended for game six. And with Chris Bosh already out, a Haslam suspension in particular could be a big hit for Miami and a big window for Indiana. I made a play on the ball and, uh, you know, my rap sheet speaks for itself. You know, I've never been a dirty player. I've never been called a dirty player. Never in this league for nine years. You know, the only thing people say about me is that I compete hard and I bring it. Nobody's ever called me dirty. We can't afford to lose anyone. I mean, we already got a big piece of our team out. Uh, UD's been playing some great ball the last few games. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens. There are three you know, hard fouls in, in this game, uh, and the league will, will review it. We, th we thought, uh, you know, he's making a play on the ball, but we have to play physical. We have to play with force. Uh, they're doing the same thing. The Pacers' Tyler Hansbro said after the game he wasn't sure if Haslam was going for the ball or his head. David West was more emotional, saying Pittman winked at the Miami bench after his flagrant. West also accused an unnamed Heat player of trying to injure his knee. West said he will be able to play in game six, and so did Danny Granger, although he is officially day-to-day -day with a sprained ankle and left the arena in a walking boot. In Miami, I'm Rachel Nichols, ESPN. Larry Bird's been through the playoff battles, and he's not happy with his team. He said, I can't believe my team went soft. S-O-F-T. I'm disappointed. I never thought it would happen. Message delivered for game six. Gordon Tongue at the end. Number four, Pacers in heat. Danny Granger going for the layup. Joel Anthony for the SWAT team. Big block. Uh, Granger's got an ankle, says he's okay, but he left the arena in a walking boot. At one, we, we go back to Miami. Here's the heat. LeBron James doing something you cannot do. <laughs> Falling out of bounds. Body control, strength, oh. eyesight. Dwayne Wade hops for pregame. That's impressive. And so was Miami on Tuesday.